and welcome back to another Valentine's Day card series video. Today I'm actually not making a card, I'm making a super simple tag and treat bag. So I am using the Summertime Charm Stamp Set from Lawn Fawn and I'm taking that cute little mason jar there and I'm going to stamp that with my Tuxedo Black Memento ink on a piece of Coordination's 110 pound cardstock. Um, I'm going to be doing a little bit of Copic coloring with that, so that's just why I chose that particular ink. So part of this did get cut out, but I colored the whole top with my C3 um, Copic marker and then went along some of the edges for shadow with my C5. And now I'm just taking the C3 once again and just blending both of those colors together. And then I'm going to take the BG Cool Shadow marker and I'm just going along the edge of the entire mason jar. You can see I'm kind of flicking my way in from the edge towards the center. Um, this is just going to create a little bit of depth and shadow in my mason jar. I just wanted um, it to look a little bit more realistic. So then I flipped it over and I'm just doing the same thing on the other side of the jar and this um, cool shadow color is a really light blue color it's it works perfectly if you're doing like windows or anything like that and then I'm going to take my zero which is the colorless blender and just go over that and that'll kind of blend that color out so you won't see um, a line like in the middle of the jar where the um, color ended so it just blends it out a little bit more. And then once I finished that, I went ahead and I'm going to stamp my sentiment inside the jar. I'm using the Love You Tons stamp set. This is also from Lawn Fun. And I'm only stamping the Love You sentiment. I don't want the tons in there. So I'll go ahead and mount that on my block, and then I'm only going to ink up the words love you. And then I'll go ahead and stamp that towards the bottom of my mason jar. Alright, and then I'm going to stamp a couple hearts. This is also from the Summertime Charm stamp set. I have the solid heart, and I'm using my Bubblegum Shadow Ink from Hero Arts. And I'm just going to stamp three little hearts in that jar. You could also stamp more, or you could use the um, outlined heart from the same stamp sentiment. And then I went ahead and fussy cut my jar out, leaving a little white border. So now I'm going to take one of these little treat bags and put in my candy. I have some Snickers bars. And I got my treat bags from Pick Your Plum, but you can get them pretty much anywhere. I'll link some down below from Simon Says Stamp. And then I'm just um, adhering that shut with a little bit of washi tape. So now I'll take my hole punch and I'm going to punch through both my tag and the bag. And then I'm going to use this natural twine that's from Lawn Fawn. So just try to unwind that. I don't know about you guys, but for some reason these don't really wind for me. I always have a really hard time getting them off the spool. So then I'll just thread that through the hole. And then I'm going to tie a bow at the top of that. Alright, and then once I get that situated, I can just move on. You can trim off the excess if you have any. But I'm going to add some diamond stickles to each of those three hearts on my tag. And you could do this before you adhere it, everything, or tie everything together if you don't want the tag to get hit or the stickles to um, get ruined but you do want to let this dry before you give it away. And then that is my finished treat bag for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you back here next time. Bye!